Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh teman-teman semuanya Selamat datang di Jembatan Dakwah Dan kali ini adalah part 2 <laughs> Part 2 ya teman-teman um, Dimana video ini adalah berisi tentang pe- Pembicaraan antara Muhammad Ali dengan ateis ya Ateis ini sangat double standar banget teman-teman Double standarnya gimana? Simak video ini selengkapnya hingga akhir agar kalian tidak salah paham. Selamat menonton dan semoga bermanfaat. Mari kita mulai. Uh, we have a Big Bang theory, so about 13.7 billion years ago. Uh, that's when the universe started expanding. That's what we know is. And wh- what is thing. the Big Bang? Can you describe what is the Big Bang? Uh, we don't know. You don't know. Yeah. What do they say it is? Because you you got this term, the Big Bang, from certain people. Obviously, I'm sure you didn't make up this term, the Big oh, Bang. Of course. Right now. Yeah. yeah. What... So what do they say the Big Bang is? The people that you believe that there is something called the Big Bang that started the universe. What is the Big Bang according to them? Do you know? Um, so we can observe the universe and how it's expanding, and we can assess the um, s- time and speed at w- at which it's expanding, and we can measure pretty much how long it it had to take uh, for certain places to to, to expand. I, I think sure. that's how it works. I'm not sure. You know, it, I'm not. Yeah, super uh, what, with this it. is one of the evidences. You're talking about rich shift, and and we can see the the universe expanding, the fabric space is expanding. So you do a kind of a reverse point in which the, where the universe started expanding from. But the point is, the Big Bang is a singularity, right? Big Bang is a singularity in which you have energy and matter, and the whole universe it was compressed into a singularity that expanded very quickly. Correct? That's what the Big Bang is, according to the people who believe in the Big Bang, right? The scientists who believe in the Big Bang. <sighs> you agree with that? I'm not sure what you just said. The universe was compressed into a singularity, and that singularity expanded. That small singularity, which had everything in it, expanded into the universe that we have today. Uh, maybe. No, but that's what scientists say. Okay, sure. Let's let's go with that. So, do you believe in the Big Bang when you don't know what they say about it? Um. Yeah, because there's a lot of things, uh, a lot of inconsistencies in in the religions. It's not just. You know how no, old the earth was. Wait, wait, wait. Also, wait. Saitama, what, what, what yeah. does the religions have to do with you believing in the Big Bang? Are you saying I believe in the Big Bang because religions have yeah. things which are which yeah, are so incorrect? Yes, I believe in what science says because what uh, religions say uh, is just unbelievable. It's just we know for a fact that this okay. is not true. No um, do you know that, only... that, that? Do you know? Do you know? Sorry to interrupt you. Do you know that doesn't logically follow what you said? Just because religions, if we assume they are false, it's not proof that science is true or the Big Bang is true. You know, oh, that yeah. doesn't follow logic, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, so you I agree mean, that your position is illogical? I'm, I'm not agreeing my position is logical. I still believe science is the most reliable. But you said the reason was because religions are not reliable. And that's exactly. an illogical I mean, position. Okay, to what other alternative do you have? You either believe in some made-up story, uh, based on religion, how the world was created, or you believe how scientists think uh, the no world. Problem. Okay, it's good. So you're asking me for alternative. And I and I, I appreciate that. And I see that as a, as a humble and a good thing to do. Because I think that we shouldn't be holding strong position. Okay, I understand where you come from. I can come into a like, realization that Christianity is false. Obviously, if I was born a Christian, I'm sure I would do the same thing, right? And then you can be skeptical about what is true and what is not. But what do you know about Islam? How much do you know? Uh, do you know I know it Islam? also... It also contains inconsistencies uh, with what science found out about the world and what uh, Quran claims about the world. It just you have, ex- have you read them yourself? Ah, uh, yes. Some. Can you uh, give me an example? Some examples. Um, and also, I hope you don't. But I, I, well, I'm saying this with all due respect to you. I hope you don't go and Google things and then bring them. I hope you actually done some research about them. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of research. Like what I found. How it was enough for me to make a, a ed- educated as <coughs> decision. Um, so, okay, for example, give me an example. Okay, so Quran says that um, hmm. uh, the sun submerges into a muddy lake. It doesn't and, say that on the earth. It it does say that. And in, that's in what, chap- that's you're quoting chapter. Do you know about. what you're quoting? Chapter chap- which chapter of the Quran? 
chapter um, 18? No idea. Okay, so you, so what, is, what does the verse say? Um, I, can, I can Google that, but that's, that's no, but what Saitama, Muslims look, Saitama, are. look, look, and, I, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm sincerely, uh, I don't know what the reason is that you don't believe in religion or God. Maybe you have had experiences when you were young with your parents. Maybe you have had okay. your own reasons for not believing in religion. I don't know what they are. But I'm, I'm not making any assumptions. But I will tell you this. Look, you have to be a fair individual. You have to be a fair person. And you, you shouldn't be making a claim when you don't even know the, the, the scripture. I'm not the making any claim. No, you said, the Quran says, you said the Quran says that yeah, that's, the sun... that's what I read. The sun submerges yeah. in a body like, and that's what Muslims believed. Okay, no, but now you're making another claim, right? <laughs> so let's start with the first claim, right? You're making two claims. You're making a claim the Quran says something. Okay. And the second thing, you said the Quran states that the sun submerges in a muddy lake, right? That's what you claim. Yeah, that's how the we have thing, night and day. Wait, wait, we're going to... Uh, and that's how we have night and day. Uh, you know, I'm loving what you're saying because it just adds on layers of what all the respect to you okay. incorrect information. So you were okay, saying it's just not step true. By step. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 let's take it step by step. You say the Quran states mm -hmm. the sun submerges in a muddy lake and then this is how we have the night. That's what you said, word for word. Yes. Okay. Then the second claim you made is that Muslims used to believe that. Now let's go with the first claim. Mm -hmm. Show me which part of the Quran you want to Google it, Google it, find it. Where okay. does the Quran say? That the sun submerges into a muddy lake, and this is how we have day and night. Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should be very, very, should take you 10 seconds to find it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'm, 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 I want to say this, I'm very happy that you came because I was looking for, for an atheist or a Christian, you know? They don't want to come for some reason. Even though we have the link in the chat and we're welcoming them, but they were hiding. So it's good you, you have the confidence to come on, right? So can you tell me now, because you, you Googled it, where, where does yeah. it say the Quran, the Quran, where does the Quran say the sun? Can I send you a link on uh, YouTube comment? No, do you know there's something called the private chat? Do you see it on your phone or no? Um, yeah, but I... Yes, yeah, you know, private chat is in in the in the stream yard where you join. Yeah, but you know, then the I'll have to I would have to find this website. No, can my, you read the read the is... verse? Read the verse. Okay. Without see, so why do you have to send me a link? Just read the verse. It's a, it's you can find it. You can Google the verse of the Quran in two seconds. Uh, Just get the reference. And Eighty-six read it. and ninety. When I read this verse, chapter eighteen of the Quran, right? Surah Al Kaf. Yeah. Uh, 18 yes. verse 86 and 90. Yes, I know. Start reading, please. The, the place, the place where the sun gets up and sets down. Quran 18, 86. Yeah. I, I don't have the Quran in front of me. I have a translation. No, no, you said you've read it. Okay. Let Let me read it now for you. Yeah, I have it in front sure. of me here. Okay. Until he reached the setting point of the sun, or the sun sun setting point, okay, which appeared to him to be sitting in a spring of murky water, where he found some people. They said, "Dul Qarnain, either punish them or treat them kindly." So this is verse eighty-six. Yeah. So where does it say here? The sun sits in a pool of muddy water, murky water. And where does it say this is how we have day and night? Please elaborate now. I'm waiting for the explanation. You can look, you can take back your claim. I'm not trying to trap you. You can take back your claim. Do you take back your claim? Saitama, are you still with us? Don't, I'm sorry, you, can you hear me? No problem, yeah. You can take back your claim. I've read the verse. For, did you hear me reading the verse? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you can interpret this however you like. Right? No, no, but, no. It's not about interpretation. I've read the verse word for word. I did not add a single word from my mouth. I only read the verse. How am I interpreting when I only read the verse? 
Okay, okay, we can go to the next one. How, how, how do you... No, no, come on, be sincere, Saitama. How are you claiming I'm interpreting when I didn't say anything? I just read the verse, literally, word for word, that's it. Okay, so you do you take this back, Saitama? Um, because in order for us to continue talking, I want to be honest with you, in order for us to continue talking, you, sh you have to be humble enough to admit when you're wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit okay. I'm wrong. I, I still think it's more likely that that what, what Muslims thought it was literally uh, no no that's the second claim the you made that's the second claim that Muslims believe that which we will come to yeah but the first claim you made is that the Quran claims the sun sits in a pool of murky water and this is how we have day and night and we've demonstrated the Quran doesn't say that so would you admit that you're wrong when it comes to this point or you're incorrect or you take that claim back you know whatever wording you want to put it you don't have to say I'm wrong maybe that's very strong you can just say I take that claim back I don't mind but this is confirmed in different places as well. It's not just this place. Um, Wait, there's also so you're making, you're making another claim that, that, that somewhere else the Quran states that the sun su submerges in a, in a, yeah, okay. in a murky water. Um, so, Where? T show me. So obviously, I haven't researched it myself. I just heard what other people said. So, you know, That's I don't know why where, I said where to it is. That's why I said to you, Saitama, I remember, before you brought the verse, I said to you, I hope you're not just Googling stuff and bringing them. Because what happens, Saitama, and I'm saying this to you with all due respect, what happens is people go and Google things. And the result is that Fine. they embarrass themselves because they go and they get incorrect information. And when they come and they speak to a Muslim, okay. who actually so you're saying the Quran, it's incorrect. Okay, sure. No, no, I'm not saying it's incorrect. I've just showed you, I've read the verse that it doesn't have this information. It's, of course, it's incorrect because the Quran doesn't say what you said. Huh. So do you take okay. that claim back? Um, no, I wouldn't take that claim back. We can go to a different uh, thing. Like, <laughs> uh, I, let me just say that. Some, some people you, think... Saitama. Some but people don't, don't think make that. arrogance, Saitama, Saitama. Don't make okay. arrogance stop you from speaking the truth. Don't make arrogance stop you from speaking the truth. I'm not here trying to corner you. Trust me, if I want to corner you, I will corner you. But I'm not trying to corner you. I'm trying to have an, a rational discussion with you. I'm trying to say where you're coming from, right? Clearly, the Quran doesn't say what you said. And I will move on. I'm not going to make you say, I'm going to I'm gonna take the point back. It's okay. You don't want to say it, don't say it. But my point is, don't make arrogance take you away from the truth. Okay, what do you want to say? What is the next point? Uh, also, coming to the next point, there is not a single book that you will find in which Muslims say the sun sits in a murky water and this is how we have day and night. Not a single tafsir you will find that is saying that. Okay? So you want to move on to another point? Go ahead. What is the other point you want to move on to? Okay. And by the way, if there is any other atheist or, or Christians, you're also welcome to come on to show us whether Christianity is logical or atheism is logical or any, any of that is logical. We've got Saitama here trying to show us why atheism is logical and uh, waiting for anyone else. There is a link in the chat. If you are non-Muslim, you're Christian, atheist, Hindu, anything, you can come on and say your opinion. By the way, Adnan, you're waiting. Can you put in the private chat if you're a non... Uh, if you're Googling stuff, Saitama, I will have to kick you because that's insincerity. You have another point or no? Um... I have one. Um, I'm not sure if that this you just is... googled. Okay, no, that, that's, that's what I heard like some time ago. Um, uh -huh. Essentially, that uh, falling stars <coughs> uh, are protecting us from evil or something like this. And it's uh, basically uh, Quran says it's stars, but we know that falling stars are not stars, but me meteorites that are the just. Quran, the Quran doesn't out. say that. The Quran doesn't say that. Oh, of course, doesn't it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, but uh, look, Saitama, uh, you're making claims with all due respect to you. You don't bring the reference. And when I tell you to bring the reference and I read the verse, I show you that it says opposite to what you said. So at least take what I'm saying to you because I know what the Quran says and I know what you're referring to. Okay. I, and the I, Quran I doesn't word the Quran doesn't word the you the word first. It doesn't say it protects you. Number two, it doesn't use the word star, which is which is used in the Quran by the way. So there is another word that is used, which is a shihab, which which is a word that refers to meteorites that you're referring to. You know, so she had it, it use the word she had it does it show up, which is a, pr a plural of one she had doesn't use the word Najm because Najm means star and the Quran uses it. It uses the word Najm. Like in, in chapter 86, for example, Surah Tariq uses the word Najm or there's a whole chapter called the Najm. Okay, so now you're 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 making a lot of claims Saitama, and clearly you don't know with all the respect to you, you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to the Quran. Yeah, I, I'm and not I, prepared. I'll be honest with you. I'm not prepared. Yeah, no problem. And, and that's a, that's an honest thing to say. And I, I respect that. Right. So and now I'm making a claim here. I'm making a positive claim. You can come on another time and show me if I'm wrong. Right. There is not 
something in which established science would say, established real science, not fake one, says that the Quran, something that you can demonstrate to be true, that the Quran speaks of opposite to. Like, for example, you're not going to find the Quran says to you that uh, uh, water is fire, for example, you know, or water turns into fire, something which is completely false that can be established, right? You're not going to find anything like that in the Quran. So if this is your contention, which you found with the Bible, which I, I understand why you found with the Bible, because it's very problematic in the Bible, but the Quran is nothing like the Bible. And the problem that a lot of atheists make is that they put all religions in one basket and they think just because the Bible is uh, has a lot of problems when it comes to these issues, then every book of religious scripture is the same. I mean, you could and, just ask yourself a simple question. Uh, what do you think is more likely that people created religions because they needed them? They had motivations to create them? Uh, people for, for a very long time had the questions with no answers, like what's the meaning of life? What's uh, after death? What happens after we die, right? And we didn't have these answers, so people just created know? them. I, I mean, that's that's a logical, you know, thing to... Uh, so from our perspective, we, we have an answer for that question. And we, we don't think what you're saying is logical. Why? Yeah, because we, we, mm -hmm. because yeah, we, so we, we don't have answer. And what we can observe, there are a lot of different civilizations creating the same thing religions that offers these answers very very simple I answers i understand what you're saying you, you say, you're thinking or you, sorry you're saying you're making you're mm -hmm. saying that uh, people created religions to comfort themselves and answer the questions i, I, that they didn't, I think it's more likely have an answer yeah. for yeah, i think you think it's more likely that this is the case right we as muslims we don't we we have a very unique position that that deals with this issue right so for example do you know what a muslim is do you know what the word muslim means muslim um, means you yeah. know, you don't know, right? Okay. The word Muslim means someone who submits his will to the one true creator. Okay. So okay. anyone who submits to the one true God, the, the creator of the universe, the real God, not fake idols or fake deities, right? Mm -hmm. That person is called a Muslim because the word Muslim comes from the word Istislam, which is submission. And a Muslim is someone who does the act of submission. So he's called a submitter, a Muslim. That's literally the literal translation of the word, right? So what we say as Muslims is that the first human being, right? The first human being that God created, God, Allah, has given him guidance, has given him directions, has given him answers. Okay, so, 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 sorry. So you believe that the God created the first uh, person, human being? Of course, How? Of course. How? Like God creates. God says, be and it is, and he creates. I, I, it's I, our how? belief about the creator. That's why I just said. Do you know what God is? What is the definition okay, of God? How? How? How, did, how? I'm answering. I'm answering. Relax. I'm answering you. <laughs> Answer, you're not going anywhere. I'm next to you, right? I'm saying to you, look, mm -hmm. our definition of God literally is an entity which is all powerful. So an yeah. entity which is all powerful can create by just saying be and it is. This is the answer Absolutely. to how. You're asking the how question, the how I'm answering it. Literally, God okay. says be, and with all with his attribute, which is all powerful, he creates whatever he likes. So he okay, says because... be and it is. Okay, so I'm asking because science has a pretty clear idea of how people started evolving into what we are now. Saitama, do you want to go there? <laughs> I really recommend you don't go there, but do you want to go there? Well, you, you don't want to go into evolution? No, no, no. I'm saying do you, you want to go there. Do you want to go there? Do you want to go there? Dan begitulah teman-teman video ini dapat kami sampaikan kepada kalian semuanya. Kita bisa nonton di sini ya teman-teman. Kita bisa mengambil ibrah di sini bahwa kadang-kadang tuh orang ATS tuh mereka hanya percaya pada sains ya teman-teman. Mereka hanya percaya pada ilmu pengetahuan. Pokoknya semua yang ada di dunia ini terjadi karena ilmu pengetahuan, karena evolusi dan lain-lain bla 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 bla. Tapi ketika mereka didatangkan uh, dengan fakta terbaru tentang singularitas ya teman-teman Tentang singularitas Singularitas itu adalah sebuah titik yang uh, expand Itu mengembang Dan uh, katanya sih menurut penelitian terbaru bahwa alam semesta ini mengembang Itu artinya bahwa ketika, ketika alam semesta itu mengembang Berarti dulunya pernah ada Kalau disusutkan dia akan menjadi satu titik itu itu adalah teori singularitas uh, untuk lebih lengkapnya kalian bisa nonton di rumah editor ya <laughs> itu keren banget channelnya nah um, tapi ketika mereka dihadapkan dengan fakta terbaru tentang singularitas ketika mereka dihadapkan dengan fakta baru temuan-temuan terbaru dari bidang sains mereka mulai mengelak eh kok bisa gitu sih oh nggak bisa 
itu tuh menurut apa pengetahuanku dulu nggak gitu sih kok tiba-tiba ada pengetahuan yang sekarang yang aku nggak nggak ngikutin sih nah, akhirnya mereka cuma bisa terdiam hanya bisa diem terus memikirkan dia mereka nggak ngikutin perkembangan fakta-fakta saintifik terbaru akhirnya mereka cuman e, a, o, a, o, kemudian mengalihkan pembicaraan itu sering banget terjadi hal yang seperti itu udah bahkan admin sendiri sampai ngerasa oh ini kalau orang-orang udah kepentok nih orang-orang yang udah kepentok argumennya udah nggak logis lagi mereka mulai mencari-cari alasan kalau mereka nggak nemu alasannya mereka pasti akan mencari topik baru mencari pembahasan baru atau membawakan pertanyaan baru agar membingungkan Muhammad Ali ya mau gimana lagi <laughs> Udah itu aja ya teman-teman Semoga bermanfaat Semoga kita bisa mengambil ibroh yang ada dalam video tersebut Mengambil hikmah yang ada dalam video tersebut Terima kasih telah menonton video ini Sampai jumpa pada video dakwah berikutnya Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh